Hi guys, Mr. Offawfuls here. This is going to be the ultimate no-nonsense guide to do the Ascension Easter Egg. As always with my guides, if you get stuck on any step or a little bit confused, I'll have some extra information in the description of this video so you can check it out and hopefully that will solve your problem. There are two things I want to convey before you jump into your game. First of all, everyone in your game should be rocking Immolation Liquidation, the Gobble Gum, because you need to spin the mystery box a lot during this egg. And also, this is a four-player Easter Egg, so if you've got less than four, you're not going to be able to complete it because you need to do things simultaneously with all four people in your game. Now that your game is underway, the first thing to do is to turn on the power. The switch is located on the top floor of the central building of the map. You then need to start spinning the mystery box for Gersh devices, and ideally, you're going to want to try and get them before your first monkey round because... Uh, in a moment, we're going to be doing a step that you have to do during a monkey round. So pop those immolation liquidations, spin the mystery box, try and get the Gersh device. There are also other weapons that you're going to need for later in the egg. So if you see any of the following, take them and don't get rid of them. Matroshka dolls, the Thunder Gun, the Ray Gun, and the Ray Gun Mark II. The Annihilator might help as well. Once you get Gersh devices, come to the PhD flopper slash Widow's Wine lander. Throw the Gersh device, just one, that's all you need, at this generator outside the map below this traffic light. If your throw was good, the generator should get sucked into the Gersh device, it will float into the air and disappear, and you can move on to the next step. Run over to the stamina up area of the map, go through to the junkyard, and you should see a computer which you can hold square on just beyond this little puddle do so, you should see an Illuminati triangle, an all-seeing eye, appear on the screen, and you're ready to move on. This next step requires that a monkey round be active in order to complete it. Wait for your next monkey round, and then during the round, there are going to be buttons that you need to press together at the same time as a team. The four button locations are as follows. One is to the left of the stamina up machine, one is opposite the Juggernog machine, one is to the left of the Widow's Wine machine, which used to be PhD, and one is across the room from the Speed Cola machine. Once you've found them all, assign a player to each button and then give yourselves a countdown, three, two, one, press, press them all at the same time. If you succeed, they will sink into the wall and you've done the step. If you fail, just give yourself another countdown and try it again. And if the monkey round ends before you manage to do this, then you're going to have to wait until the next monkey round. So try not to end the round until you've completed the step. For this next step, you need the Pack-A-Punch area of the map opened up. So to do that, just to recap, you need to go to each lander on the map. There are three of them, one at the PhD lander or Widow's Wine, one at Stamina Up and one at Speed Cola, and fly them all back to the spawn area. It'll cost you 250 points. Then go back to the power switch on the map and hold square on the button that launches the rocket. It will fly into the air and the Pack-A-Punch will be opened. Then bring your entire team down there and you'll see that in the area directly below where the rocket used to be, there will be a clock facing you. You need to stand with your entire team on the big circular metal grating that is on the floor in that area. You can't go all the way to the edges of the walls in that room, but you do have a fair amount of space to run around, and your entire team needs to stay on that panel for an entire minute. It takes a while to do this, but what you should see is the clock slowly going around, and once it's completed a minute, you've finished the step. If anyone steps off the panel, then you're going to reset your clock, so do this at the end of a round when you have a crawler. You can easily kind of walk it around while you're all standing on that panel, and you should all be okay. Be wary of the fact that once you finish this step and the clock's done a full 360 degrees, a nuke is going to go off and kill your zombies, so watch out for that. For the next step, you need to collect letters in the air using the lunar landers, and and they're going to spell the word Luna, L-U-N-A. The best way to do this is to have someone just standing on the lander the entire time and somebody else running around the map and calling that lander to various locations. Assuming you've done that and you've got someone just standing on the lander ready to go, bring that lander to the spawn area to start things off. You need to call it from spawn to stamina up, then from stamina up back to spawn, then from spawn to speed cola, and finally, from Speed Cola over to Stamina Up. So remember, the whole time, have somebody else calling the lander for you from the destination that you want to go to. So if you're at the spawn and you need to get to Speed Cola, have a teammate run over to Speed Cola and call the lander for you. And the person that is then standing on the lander should pick the letter up on the way over there. You'll spell out the word Luna, and at this point, 
you're actually on the last step of the Easter egg. You know before I mentioned the Thunder Gun, Ray Gun Mark II, Ray Gun, the Gersh devices, Matryoshka dolls? That's what you're gonna need for this step. You're going to want your weapons upgraded, so if you've got the Thunder Gun, turn it into the Zeus Cannon and get that thing upgraded. Similar goes for the Ray Gun Mark II, the Ray Gun, and you'll also need a Matryoshka doll and a Gersh device in order to do this. Run over to the glowing white ball in front of the Casimir mechanism, which is near the computer that you held square on before in the junkyard area of the map just by stamina up. You should see this little glowing blob just chilling out on the floor, and your job is going to be to pump as much damage into that thing using those specific weapons that I mentioned as you possibly can. So the way I recommend you do this is to get your Gersh device ready and primed, and have your teammate get their Matryoshka dolls ready and primed, just hold on to the trigger for now, and then as soon as your team is ready, Chuck them at the exact same time, as soon as the Gersh device goes active, and it should go active on top of the white blob by the way, that's where you want to throw these things, you need to start spraying your Zeus cannon, spraying your papped Mark II, spraying your papped ray gun, and just pouring damage into this bad boy. Don't shoot the Gersh device portal itself, shoot the white blob. You can only really pour damage in for the duration of the Gersh device itself, so maybe keep shooting for like two seconds after the Gersh device disappears and its duration is gone, and if you've succeeded, the white blob should start floating into the sky, and bingo, you've completed the easter egg. However, if you don't succeed, you might get a message like, we are so close, we need more power. In that case, make sure your guns are pack a punch like I mentioned, make sure you've got all the guns that I mentioned as well, the Thunder Gun, the Papped Ray Gun, the Papped Mark II, the Matryoshka Dolls, and the Gersh device, make sure that you're throwing them on the correct location, you need to make sure they all land in the right place, and to be honest, those Matryoshka Dolls can be a little difficult to aim sometimes, so they do bounce around, be aware of that, but keep trying, and after a couple of attempts, as long as you're throwing all that damage into that blob and you've got the weapons that I've recommended in this video, then you should be able to do this. Once again, any further problems, look at the description and ask people in the comments. I'm sure they'll be willing to help out as well. This has been a no-nonsense guide. Please leave a like on it if you have enjoyed. I put a lot of work into making this as clear as possible, so that would be much appreciated. And finally, I just quickly want to say... Back in the day, there was a Zombies YouTuber called Yoti Slayer, who was a friend of mine, and I'm sure many of you knew his channel as well. And he's not around anymore, but I wanted to give a bit of a tip of the hat to him in this video and to his memory, because his Ascension Easter Egg Guide was, I think, one of the first videos of his that I ever saw, and I felt like it would be fitting to just reflect on that fact ever so briefly at the end of this video seeing as he's not going to be around to see this map pack release. I miss you, bud. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.